Okay, on the baker, we're going to go straight, um, the straight, uh, some straight tests. We're going to include the resistance reading, um, which we have to enter manual temperature. We're going to uh, do the uh, maker reading, polarization index. Um, I'm skipping the uh, ramp because that takes a little bit. And then we'll go straight to the surge. The high pot and the surge test will both be at 2,000 volts. We run the auto test. Uh, yes, we're going to use the change parameters. And the first thing it does is wants to verify the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. It is about 80 degrees today. So we'll accept that. The nice thing is these tests are now going to happen uh, automatically. It's now running uh, my straight uh, four-wire Kelvin resistance test. So far, um, all balanced as compared to the original. And it's now doing the third uh, phase. Okay, with that test complete, it will now run my uh, mega test for one minute. As soon as it brings the voltage up to the required temperature of, uh, uh, sorry, value of 500 volts. Now we're already in the uh, 18 gig ohm range, or sorry, 10, 11 gig ohm range. should be showing up on the screen a little bit better than on our first set of tests on the uh, fire pump which a lot of these we just uh, cut down because the time ran about five minutes over uh, the 10 minute minimum and this is our dielectric absorption which is an additional two minutes See the uh, mega reading is pretty much balanced out. Okay, the next test is going to be um, the uh, high potential test. Once it gets up to a value of 2,000 volts, 
Uh, it will then run it for roughly 30 seconds, and it'll tell us what our leakage looks like. motor of course has the rotor in place so the uh, test when this one is complete will be my surge comparison test with a rotor. Discharge the winding and now comes our surge test at uh, 2000 volts. Uh, it's set to auto range. This will be um, phase one waveform. Okay. Followed by phase two. Uh, this again is happening automatically. That's nice and sync. Now followed by phase three. Okay, that thereby completes the tests. And as you can see, um, passed all of the tests. Uh, ending up with the same good results as the uh, all test 4 uh, which uh, makes for a pretty good comparison. We're now going to test a submersible pump. <laughs> 